Good evening. This is part two, the top half of your news stories this evening. This is Volt News Network, and these are your top stories tonight. Profile information belonging to some 23andMe customers recently surfaced on a dark web forum known to be used by hackers. 23andMe is a DNA testing service. According to reports from NBC News and other outlets, bad actors were offering compilations of customer details for sale, including names, birth years, genders, ancestry, and other non-DNA profile data extracted from 23andMe accounts. 23andMe stated it has no evidence its own systems were breached in this situation. The U.S. is sending additional military support to Israel amid its ongoing conflict with Hamas. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has ordered the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group to sail to the Eastern Mediterranean as a show of force. The carrier group, accompanied by cruisers and destroyers, will augment U.S. air power in the region with F-35, F-15, F-16, and A-10 squadrons. This demonstrates U.S. readiness to respond if needed. Austin said equipment and munitions are also being rushed to Israel to reinforce its defenses. This movement of arms comes as President Biden announced that 11 American citizens had been killed in the conflict. The White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby grew emotional during a CNN interview on Monday while discussing the Hamas attack on Israel. Kirby began to tear up. He apologized and said it was very difficult to look at these images and consider the human cost. Tapper assured Kirby there was nothing to apologize for. Israeli officials confirmed some 100 hostages have been taken by Hamas in Gaza, including Americans. There are fears the terrorist group may begin executing captives on live television if Israel's attacks on civilian areas continue. The White House has expressed heartbreak over the deaths of American citizens and is prioritizing their safety. These are the top stories tonight. We hope you enjoyed your holiday. This week will be packed with information. Stick with Volt News Network for the stories that matter. Good night.